Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 13 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, this video has been a long time coming, so we're going to make a swinging door. Now, you know, just like always, people, let's open up Radiant. Let's do it. All right, so I already have a map open. Now, first things first, let's get some models for the doors that we want to use. Now, they do have to be script models. So what we're going to do is we're going to press B on the keyboard. Click it. Let's do it. There we go. Now we're going to go over to script. And we're going to go model. So I'm going to drag one over. There you go. Drop it down. All right, cool. Now you want to search for the door that you want. So I'm going to click on all. That way it'll show me all the doors. Actually, it's showing me all the models right now. So what I want to do is we want to type in door. And here are all the doors. Now, let's look for a door we want to use. I just found one that I liked, but we could use any doors. Let's see. I know there was a P7 door around here. All right, these blue ones are cool. All right, so with the doors, if you're going to be making double doors, you need a left and a right. So as you can see, at the end of this name, it says left. And then if I move down, that one says right. So let's drop them both in. So double click it, the door pops up. And then now do the script model again. Drop it in. Oh, deselect it first. There you go. Now double click the right one and bow. Now we have two doors. All right, so let's line these up right. All right, let me select that one. Okay, it's touching the floor. I want this one on that side. The escape. And this one, I want it over here. That way the handles look nice, you know? It's the right spot for it. So let me move this one over. There you go. Let me go from the top view. Now, I'm going to shrink down the grid so I can make grab these in a little closer. So I'm going to go to one. Let me see how it looks. There you go. That's perfect. Put that one there. Select this one. And put that one there. Now with the doors, you can always bag a frame. See, like this is a frame right here. So you just have to get the frame for these double doors. You know, it's going to be a lot bigger than this one. But, you know, we're just going to make a quick rotating door. All right, so select both. And hit N on the keyboard. So it can bring up the Entity Browser. Uh, entity Info, excuse me. Now we're going to give it a name. Now... For target name, we're going to call this Auto 150. Now, the reason we're putting Auto 150 is, let's say if we have this game in it, uh, the doors, and they're already working, and you want to make more of these doors, all you have to do is just copy everything, so you know, select everything, and hit space park, and it'll make a new set of doors. That way, they won't be linked to each other. So that's why we're calling it Auto 150. So press enter. That's fine. And let's give it a script string. So go to add KVP and go to script string. And then we're going to call this rotate because that's what we want the doors to do. Rotate. Hit add. Okay, now we're going to give it another KVP. And this one is going to be script angles. Script underscore whoa angles, and then we're gonna call this zero space zero space zero and hit add. All right, so that part is pretty much done. All right, deselect them now. Select one of the doors and go back to grid eight, which is number four. That way, the box is all be increased and then we're gonna hit R on the keyboard that's to rotate so with one of the doors selected we're gonna press R and we're gonna rotate it in the direction that we want the door to be so that's you know left click drag it down because it'll start moving to the left and as you can see right over here where it says angles it says 0 to 10 0 so that's what we're gonna put over here so let me 
put this back. Hit escape once. And let me go over to here. The one in the middle, that's the one we have to change to 210. Now make sure the zeros have spaces between them. And press enter. That's good. Now let's do the other door. Let me zoom out so we can see it. Press R on the keyboard. Rotate it in the direction you want it. There we go. Now this one says 0, 0150. 0. So that's what we're going to put over here. All right, so let me bump it back. OK, hit escape once with it still being selected. And let's put 150. And press Enter. Press Escape. OK, now that's done. Now we're going to make a script uh, brush model. So go back into Entity Browser. And on this script, you go Brush Model. Just pop it over. There you go. Shrink it down. Now, don't put it inside the door because this is going to be the clip. Like, you just want it right in front of the door. And no matter what, it's going to block the player from going in. So let me shrink down the grid. Let me just do it like this. There you go. Make it the size of the door. And we can drag it up. There we go. That's cool. Is it bigger than the door? Yes, it is. So let's make this smaller. There we go. The yeah, player's not going to squeeze up there. All right, so now that it's a script brush model, we're going to give it a texture. We have to give it a clip texture. So hit T on the keyboard, and you're going to type in, well, you're going to go to all, and you're going to go to clip. So type in clip. And you're going to want the one that just says plain old clip. Where are you, buddy? Don't hide from me. Show yourself. Here it is. Double click that. And now it's a clip. All right, so we're going to give it some KVPs. So go back into Entity Info. And as far as target name, we're going to call it the same thing we called the door models. So we're going to call it Auto 150. Press Enter. Now we're going to give it another KVP. And it's going to be script noteworthy. Script underscore noteworthy. And we're going to call this clip. And press enter. All right. Last thing we have to put is the trigger. All right. So go over to your entity browser. Now go over to trigger. Let me get rid of that. All right. Now trigger and go to views and drop that in and put it back on grid four and here we go just gonna put it right in front of the door doesn't have to be huge let me shrink it down just a little bit there we go okay now i like hitting surface inspector and i like to hit set now i can see the trigger name it looks cool like that I don't know. I'm just crazy like that. Hold shift, press D to rotate it. Val. And just bump it back. Move it over. All right. Now we're going to give it KVPs. So go back into Entity Info. And for this one, we're going to put target name. It's going to be called Zombie Door. Zombie underscore door. Press Enter. And then uh, it's zombie cost so go to add kvp go to zombie underscore cost and then we're going to give it a price me i'm a cheap ass i'm gonna price it at 100 bucks because i got bills so uh, i'm gonna hit add now if you don't add this automatically it's going to be set to 100 so uh it's, you know just put in the price you like and you're good to go from there also, if you're going to be making zones, all you have to do is just give the trigger a script flag and just name it whatever your zone was. You know, we're not doing zones right here, so it's the door without that script flag is fine. And hit escape. And now, last thing, all you want to do is select the trigger, select one of the doors, and press W. Remember, always select the trigger first and then the door. 
That way we can link them together. And as you can see, the arrows are going right to it. And that's it. That's how you make a swinging door. All right, so I'm going to click on File. Well, let me make sure nothing is selected. I'm going to click on File, click on Save. And let's check it out in game. Oh, not Radiant. No. All right, that's good. All right, so click Compile, click Lights, click Link, click Run, click Build. And let's see. Just give it a second so it can compile. All right, it's almost done. And there we go. All right, cool. All right, so let me open up Steam. It didn't open, okay. So I'm gonna uncheck link. For you, it might load, but for me, it's being a pain in the tush, you know? But that's cool. It's still compiled. All right, so there we go. Click OK. And with any luck, you should have some swinging doors. Now, remember, if you want, turn it into a prefab. You know, you select all the items. You go to File. You go to Save As. You put it under underscore prefabs, that folder. And then you name it Swinging Door, whatever you want. You know, you can name it... Um, um, you know, K Jewelers, I, I don't know. And uh, it's, just save it, and you can always copy and, and paste it all over the place. So here we go. As you can see, it's got a clip. There we go. And let's open it up. And there you go. That's how you make a swinging door. Oh, yeah. It's a good day. Thank you, zombie gods. I am very grateful. But that's how you make a swinging door. Hey! So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.